Hey guys, Kuso and Theo here bringing you another part of Let's Learn Hearthstone Arena. So this is all in post commentary. I've recorded this f footage ages ago and I forgot to change it so that it picks up my mic so it all was just the game sounds. So now I'm just recording it in post commentary. This the, I did record this ages ago, I don't remember the draft, I don't remember what I did. I, don't, I remember I played pretty poorly, I don't remember this draft going super far into the game. I'm into the ranks, like it doesn't get 12 or 6. I don't think it gets, I don't know if it gets 7, I'm not sure. Anyway, and it's also pretty TGT, I decided just to record it like this, because it might be a, a cool experience to see what I would, what I say now versus what I do in game. And it would be a cool idea. I have a drink of water with me, get some get some, some drink with you, and let's go. I did record this in two parts, but I think I'll just keep... I have enough time to record it in one, and probably make this like a 40 hour long video, which is, which is fine. And I'd, I would probably there, just keep the pine size, and just remove everything else. Maybe keep the earth in, but I don't know, I guess I just wanted to get the Lost Rider, Trost Rider in there. Again, I don't remember the deck, so maybe that mulligan was fine, but I don't remember. Well, coin pine size is the play to do here, so that I get tempo off it. So, coin pine size, yep, that's exactly what I do, and the turn, and hopefully he doesn't have a way to deal with it. I can protect it with my disabled ghoul, and then next, or our earthen ring. Oh, he played the mech warper, that's not very good. Now here, I would probably just earthen and uh, like er earthen heal myself and go face, just so that I have something that could trade with the um, the mech warper. But for some reason, I go unstable ghoul, which is an okay idea because he he can't get through it to get to my pine size. But I don't know. I guess the earthen heal would have been better because then next turn I can lost close rider and get keep the tempo going on from here. Because now, yeah, now it's awkward since he played the harvest golem and a sticky minion. So now at a three drop, any three would be good since I have to since they both trade, they both challenge them. A lost Toss rider is fine. Oh, also as I'm playing this, I probably made via teacher. Um, I got my first twelve wins the other day. It was twelve and three, twelve and two, which was yeah, twelve and twelve and two with a mage. It was comeback mage, but I still got my first twelve wins. I was so excited. It was super fun. Hopefully, I get one on screen. Which I doubt will happen. Yeah, see now it's awkward, because now he can probably play another mech, or hammer it. Which, yep, there's a hammer. And, <clears throat> hammer, it does the damage to everything, and then it kills my pine size. At least the harvest golem dies as well. If I had a spell, it would be nice, but I don't. Oh, I do have a spell, thank you, spell. So, probably claw, hit that, and then, what, why? What? No, oh, that's fine too. Okay, when, I should have clawed there and killed it. <clears throat> I could have just clawed, hit it, then played like Druid of the Flame, which would have been better, I think. So what are you gonna do now? Claw, hit the three three, the four five, and three five into two one. Then play the Lost Horse Rider. Instruction begins. Yeah, claw, Earthen Ring into the Eti. It's, it's not that hard of a turn. Come on, man! Do it! Thank you! The and then put, then go face to the 3-5 and play it through, and th that's fine too, Lost Soul Side is also good. I'll go face since the 1-1 one, one challenges it, yep, there it is, okay. So, so far we have board control, it's still a paladin, he can still do stupid muster bullshit, or true silver bullshit, or... Blessing of Kings. Ugh, I hate most paladin. And with the TGT cards, he got the Murloc Knight, which is the most broken thing I've ever seen in my life. I hate that card. Okay, so he just fire f frost elemental did. So I just put the one one two one do the, probably and probably that and do the flame. I would do the flame there. Put it as a, as a two five. But I guess my ma 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 machine is fine. Um, I guess it starts getting bigger. If he consecrates, not that great of a consecrate because he still has to get through my anodized Jobo Cub. What is he holding? He has a he has a one two three four five card advantage, and she does throw a card so. Another hammer? Jesus, double hammer. Do I have a swipe in this day? I think I have a Moonstar Fall, I don't know if I have a swipe. Oh god, Archon Protector. Screw that bullcrap. Oh, okay, that's fine actually. So, drew the flame, do the 2 5, then hit, it, then hit the 5 2 with my Mech Warper, put the taunt on the, sh on the Lost Soul Strider and hit that. And then 
that's it. Then, if, hmm. then nothing. Then just pass. <clears throat> it was actually a nice play for him. Because some people would have just... Oh, I could hear a power as well. That's fine too. Some people would have just hit it and then uh, the, the Arjun Protector then hit it instead of hitting the Arjun Protector. But a 5-2 with a Defiant Shield is more threatening than a 5-5 than a, than a five five with no Defiant Shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine too. That's always a good play also. Yeah, that's good. I keep my micro machine, micro machine alive and the Arjun Protector doesn't hit it. Yeah, that's also a good play. Go, well done pa past me. Oh, bless you, Guardian of Kings. Why didn't he hit it? I'd put a 5-2 to be honest. Plus he doesn't have a Consecrate. Yeah, he would hit there, go face, and play it by teacher. Yep. I could have done the 5-2, like Jordan of Fla Flame, since I don't think he has a Consecrate. He would have used it by now to kill my rank machine. Yeah, they're getting hero power later. An ogre. Oh no. <clears throat> His late game is going out. Oh, and. A cloud to ping is not very good on Paladin since you can't ping it. So a 7 to. Oh, swipe! That's actually a real nice draw. I could swipe face and kill him. No? 4 plus 7, that's 11. Yep. I win. Yep, that's fine. And swipe face. Perfectly done. And yes, screw you, Paladin! That's a nice top deck. So now we're what? 2 and 1? 1 and 1? I don't. I honestly have no idea. Victory, two and one. Yeah, we're two and one. So let's play another. I've been playing a lot of arena recently. Yeah, here I'm. Dead. I have a claw. Since I hadn't played this in a while, I have a claw. I have a decent number of two drops. They're not the best two drops, since the the I have double pine sides, which is really awkward. Um, unstable ghoul. Uh, youthful bruise. Okay, nothing to brew back really. My threes are really weak. I only have three three drops that I can play. My fours are quite strong. Lost Star Strider, Senjin, and two Vital Teachers, right? Nourish is good. Starfall is great. Druid of Claw double. That's good. It's, it's just an okay deck. I also have a Scenarius. I think it's more like an aggro -y deck. I have to like empty out my hand and hopefully draw into Nourish and then re then regain, then reload like as you as some would say. But yeah. Oh yeah, as I was saying, I have been playing a lot of Arena recently with TGT, it's been super fun. Even though Mer Paladins, as we see here, are most annoying. Like literally, I went 5 3 the, the other, like today, and out 8, and like 5 of the matches I played were Paladins. It was seriously so dumb. Yeah, that was good, I kept the Earth in again. Oh no, my Iron Bark, that's what I wanted not on to see. But again, I have Coin, with Coin, I can Coin Pint Size. And that's always a good idea. If usually if you have don't have coin, you don't want to keep pine size. Because what? Mm, sorry, I have to sneeze. Oh no, zombie charm. Yeah, this is exactly why. Because if you don't have coin and let's say they have the coin, they, they could coin out a two drop that will one hundred percent challenge the pine size. Oh no, this is not good. This is so not good. We'll go have to coin her then. Yep, coin early. And if there's an arch and protector, we cry. And you usually want to keep your pine size alive for at least three turns, then you get value for it. Three to two turns, and that's the best, probably. He can trade his mic machine in if he wants to. Reporting for duty. Oh, he's gonna be greedy? <clears throat> if he hits me in the face, that would be great for me, because then I can hit it, dissolve it out with my earthen. He's thinking about it. I would just trade. Yep, that, that's a good idea. Oh, scenarios. That's not what I want to see. Now I have to play the random, the stupid pine size. Oh, I don't? Okay, don't play it again. I guess. Which is a fine idea. And then next turn I have two four drops. It's just a zombie chow. It will heal me eventually. So literally there's nothing on the board it's like right now. Because when that dies, I get 5 HP back. Oh, something good, something good, something good. Is it something good? Oh, that's probably the shittiest one. Come on, are you serious right now? God damn it. Yes, engine. Your face. Or hit it. I don't know. That's such a... Ugh, I turned. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, hitting it is dumb. It doesn't accomplish anything. If I lose lethal by one turn... Oh, I doubt, I doubt I'll win this, to be honest. We're too far behind, and... Our late game is fine, but it's still a paladin. He can still flood, like, 
crap. Oh look, Muster, my favorite card. I hate Muster so much. An Elven Archer. Hit the two, two. Wait, it doesn't kill it anyway, so why did he do that? I guess he's gonna keep it alive. Uh, okay. That's an okay idea. Well, that's probably Avenge. Muster to Avenge. Oh, it's always a nice, always a cool thing to see. <clears throat> so, Drew the Claw, put, put it as a taunt form probably, and go face. It's no Masak. Why would they put like, no Masak there? That's so weird. He has 4, 5 damage from, from just Muster, Elvin, and his face. Which is still can't kill the Drew of the Claw. So, I do have taunt galore, so. Okay, if we put swipe here, it'll be the best swipe ever. It'll be the biggest punish ever. But I doubt we pull it. That'll be the dream to pull swipe now. Swipe or Starfire, both are good. But swipe is better, second so swipe his face and kill everything. But I'll probably just play the Frost Elemental and freeze it. Yep. Frost Elemental, freeze it. Value teacher? Why? Yeah, just freeze the Hungry Dragon and we're good. And we're not in a good position at all. He is out of cards-ish. Ish. And we have quite a bit of cards. What, two of them are Pine Say Summoners, which are dead cards now, since they're basically useless. That's why I hate Pine Say Summoner. It's just so useless it's, uh, after the first two turns. If you don't coin it out, then you screw it pretty much. If there was a one drop, if there was like a one drop that was like a one two or two one, that'd be so much better than a two two two, two two two. Yeah. So yeah, that pine size claw and kill it. Okay, so at least we're back on the board at least since everything I have challenges his and the two two. So we're gonna go kill my two two. So that's always nice. Let me just take a sip of my water. What's he gonna do? He has to kill the pine size, otherwise next turn I have iron bark. Oh consecration, yep, that's it. That that's where we lose. This is what losing looks like. Oh and divine favor, yeah, just so just in case he ha didn't have enough cards. Face and the one one and the one one. At least he only has a two two on the board, so next turn iron bark is coming out. Iron bark into scenarios, so also, Savage Roar, I don't like it at all. It's just, uh, it's a finisher, it is a win condition, like if you have enough on the board and you're flooding, then you Savage Roar, then you kill it. Kill him. Oh, big game hunter, that's nice. So, now Scenarius and some of the 2 2 3 and Echoing Goose. Please don't blessing up King's Dead. Oh, so, for your master's cleanse, the well. Oh, and Blessing of Might, okay. So, this is what losing looks like, you guys. I should just concede right now. I have no way to kill them unless I pull Starfire. And nope, I don't. So just Scenarius. A 2 2 3 int. And that's basically a game since you just can kill the 2 2 with my 2 2, 3 2 into 2 2, and then just 5. He has 10, 14 damage, he needs 1 damage to kill me. And will he find it? Nope. Two, two, three, two. He has 14 damage, but one HP. Yeah, I should just concede right now. Nope. Yep. GG, Paladin. I love you. I hate the face Paladin so much. That big game hunter basically won him the game. So two, two. Yeah, not the best. Not the best. But that's, that his guy's that guy's deck was cray cray. He had Muster, he had Consecration, he had a big game hunter, and he also had and if he had a sil true silver champion, then he basically goes 12 0 12 0. And he also had shielded minibots. Yeah. God. Another paladin and he's golden. Will we win? Well the video is long, so that might give you an indication. <coughs> hint hint. Um 
So toss and keep the two twos. I, okay, guys. I hate and simple good is such a weird card. It's very good for Spellidens. I'm not, not gonna lie. Since it does make him, since it does counter his hero power, since they, they it takes three of them to kill it, and if they're on the board, they die anyway to its death rattle. Um, Trog is also good, better if you're first. Because if they don't, they don't coin a two drop. Then you play Soul Splitter Trog, and then you counter their coin. Because if they coin like a three drop, then your then the Soul Splitter Trog is a three three, and then it then you t it trades probably their three drop they coined out. This guy's thing forever to Mulligan, Jesus. Come on, dude! It's either one, two, or three. You probably don't want to keep more than that. Henrik, Henrik, please. Girl, yeah, I thought we were slacking or something. Girl, come on. What the? What? The, oh, thank you, Jesus. Finally. So that took him forever. Does he have a one drop at least? Probably not. Nope. So do I coin Soul Splinter? I could. No, that's fine. Yeah, if he has a spell or something. Again, back here, even now, I don't know how to use the coin like super efficiently. It's like, if you have a deck that has a lot of 4 drops or a lot of 3s, you probably want to save your coin for when you have like... Because you're probably going to get them in your hand. Like, let's say you mulligan... You mulligan... that. Yeah, see, that's why the Asimu Gold is so good. Let's say you mulligan like, your fo a fo like a 6, a 4, and you keep a 2. And then you mulligan them, and then you get a 3 and a 4, and, a, and like a 1. Then you can coin out your fours or coin out the three if you have a lot of threes or a lot of fours. That's only how you use the coin or if you want to aggress. If you have a one, two, three, four ma a mana curve, you don't want to coin anything out. And then if you get like six drop, then you can play that on turn five. So yeah. Oh, that's also a good way to deal with it. started. So that kills your pussy at least. And he's left to the one one. If you get a three drop, that'd be fantastic. If I don't, I can just hero power and kill it. So if I don't, hero power kill it. I'm looking forward to making more Let's Learn Hearthstone Arenas with the TGT cards. This is the meta changed so much. Before you could like skip removal. Now basically you have to keep you have to any removal you see, you have to take it. Because the mini decks now are so minion heavy, it's insane. Oh no. Oh god! Oh thank fuck, he didn't kill it. So probably now trade the 2-2 two, two into 3-2, three, two, play the total lost toss rider. Because before you would, you would, you would, you, you would see, wow, that was such a greedy play, oh wow. If he buffs that 3-2 or like a Sun Fury Protector, then it would be, then it would be a punish. That was a really greedy by me, actually. <clears throat> it does, it may pay off since this is more like an aggro weed druid. I do have to flood, I do have to stay on the board. Or like aggro controly, because I do have to stay on the board and I don't have much burn, like reach. And I think it's paying off the degree to play, since I don't think it does have it. Yep, it doesn't have it. Yeah, he's gonna kill it. Yeah, so yeah, that was fine. So now Druid of Claw, Taunt, and then 5-4 into 4-4. Or 5-4 into 1-1 one, one if I'm be feeling greedy. Or Face! Okay! Face is fine too. <clears throat> I should probably be playing more cards than I have Narsh in my hand. It sucks that I do it so earlier, so early. At least next turn I can play the Frost Wolf and it's 7-7, uh, seven, seven. since I have 2 minutes on the board, so 5-5. Five, five. No, it's a 4-4, four, four, so it'll be a 6-6, six, six, if I'm not mistaken. Nurse is kind of a dead card right now. Black Queen Corruptor, does he have a dragon? Yes, he does. That's not good. <clears throat> so, Frost Wolf. Bathe in flame and that. And kill the 1-1. One, one. Nope, 5-4. Okay, I guess I really want value from the Frost Wolf. I, I personally would have just played the Frost Wolf and killed the thing. But playing two, two things at once is not the worst idea. It is a paladin. He is holding something in his hand. I probably something that will kill me. Frost Wolf Warlord. See, it's a 4 4, so not a 6 6. And I'm gonna have another one, and it's gonna be exactly like yours. But damn right. It's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours because it's a 7 7. You suck now, now. Why didn't I kill a 1 1? Why didn't I kill the other 1 1? What is wrong with me? 2 5 into 1 1. Now I can't kill it straight trade. What? That was so stupid of me. 
Jesus, now he's got a 6-6 six, six and a 7-7 seven, seven and 1-1 one, one door, 7-7. So seven, seven. Da -da. Please, I mean, what, what am I doing? Past me, seriously, I'm so stupid. What's he gonna do? Oh, hammer. Oh, if he didn't kill that, I would have had Scenarius next turn. Oh, that would be so nice to have Scenarius. Yeah, that was so dumb of me. That's, that could be a game loser. That's there. That, why would I do that? I would have Scenarius if he didn't kill the Pine Size and I would have killed it. Oh, uh, you can probably use Savage Roar. Play that and Savage Roar. If I Savage Roar, then I could kill the Twilight Drake. Which is an okay idea, but you usually want to use Savage Roar to kill him. And I think next turn, with Savage Roar, I have lethal. I have 6, plus 4, 14. Yeah, I have lethal. If he doesn't kill the... the If it doesn't heal, put down a taunt. Or even with the taunt, I, I'd kill him. Or kill my Druid of the Claw. Let me th I think we win from here. His hand was probably super clogged. Wait, I th do I still win? I think I do. 2... Oh no, no I don't. No, he hasn't taken the boat. That sucked. <clears throat> He's gonna put his Twilight Drake into it, right? So now Scenarius to give everyone plus one, plus one, right? And then trade. Why not Scenarius? Oh. Why, why, okay. I guess it's fine. I, I should have Scenarius though. Scenarius like 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. At least this way has to waste some waste uh true silver charge that it doesn't have what it doesn't want to on a uh, one of those chains. And it is more flood for Savage Roar. So Illuminator, does he have a secret? I think he has a secret if he wants to play that. <clears throat> So that's 17. Oh, that's so weird. Why did I give everything plus one plus one? Yeah, now I have to nourish. Earthen, Mark of Nature. Do I win? Mark of Nature? So 5 8 into the 6 5. 2 2. The two, both the 2s. Naturally. Naturally. Oh, I had one more mana. I would have been able to Earthen and. And the mark of nature on it. But I probably just earth in and add the nice. Oh no, okay, that's fine. Okay. That's okay. Next turn I have lethal with Savage Roar, it doesn't kill everything. These are still weird plays though. They're not they're not the most optimal plays. Just just letting you know, you guys. Cause like if I just earth mark of nature to the scenarios have been fine. If um earthening is okay. Trading the the Illuminator is not the best idea, going face is okay. There are many ways to play Hearthstone, so... I usually like to trade, so that's probably my one of my biggest weaknesses, I over trade, like when I don't need to. Like, here is fine, go, not like, trading is fine since he had a heal, and not going face. Oh, Starfall. So, I, do I have lethal? Four, and Savage Roar, I think I have lethal. No, I have lethal, yeah. Savage Roar plus the Mark of Nature give buff. What am I doing? I have lethal! Girl! I pretty sure I lethal. 4 plus 5, that's 9. 10 plus 3 is 13. Then give everything plus 2, so that's 1, 2, 3, so 6. Yeah, I have lethal. What am I doing? Well, that's fine. He conceded because I put the mark of nature on the on the back I'm pretty sure I had lethal there. I calculated and put an annotation, but I'm pretty sure I did. So now we're three and two, not and we've surpassed the average. The average is three three for people. Okay, who is it? Oh, a mage. Oh yeah, major paladins. They're the most fun class to play against. I must protect the wild. I must protect the wild. I would have removed pine size. Oh yeah, double pine size. I can pine size in turn two, then pine size again. Jesus, and then I run out of steel instantly. I think pine size stack actually, so I'll make things cost two to less. If it doesn't play, if it doesn't coin out anything, then it's an okay idea to keep it. But I don't think he will. Won't see. 
Now at least the pint size like challenges it. No, play the pint size. Pint size. Don't be a greedy fuck. Play the pint size. Thank you. Summoning portals open. Also for a little thing, it has huge ass boobs. Have you ever, have you guys ever looked at pint size art? It has huge ass boobs. I'm just saying. Look at those boobs. Boobs. Snow chugga 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 chugga. Oh, he's gonna be a greedy fuck and not kill it. Wow. So we can adonize Robocub and and pint size. Not, not plus one attack, plus two health, and pine sized. And then go fish. You're a greedy, greedy little mage, aren't you? Should have killed it. Now I have two pine sized, and next turn I have a, I have, I'll have a lost all starter that costs two mana. Could you imagine a, 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 a two mana card that costs five, four? Oh yeah, that's fine. Flame cannon. Now trade. You still didn't trade, you greedy, greedy fuck. <clears throat> so, Mac Machine, Hero Power, hit the thing, or Lost Thoughts Rider, hit it. I think any of his fine. If I do this, I have to Hero Power, Snow Chugger, and then kill it. Then kill the Sorks Apprentice. That's also okay. <clears throat> the A-bomb. I don't like much like the A-bomb since it kills everything and it like resets the board and basically gives him initiative. Lost Thought Strider is okay. I would trade though. Mm, okay. Since he has a free trade from the Snow Chugger, I would at least kill the Sorks Apprentice. The, source, the, the Snow Chugger kills the Pine Size instantly. So, uh, it's, uh, mm, it's a free trade for him. Oh, secret. I was gonna hit ping. On my face. Yeah, hit ping and kill the pine size. If it doesn't kill the pine size now, it's an idiot. Oh my god, it's going face? What an idiot, why? Good lord, man. Is it copy pasta? It's cup faster, so I'll hit it then. Oh, if he hadn't frozen me, and I would have hit it, and I have a two-two and a two-one ward, which I can't deal with. Now he has to ping and hit the two-two, two-two, the two-one, probably, because this guy has been trading so weirdly. So have I, though. That 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 just putting that out there. What card back is that? That looks cool. So ping the pine size and face. I mean, hit the micro machine. Let's see, hopefully I draw something good, that's not good, so just a one, yeah. Oh yeah, also if you hear like some feedback, or not really feedback, just some like whirring in the background. That's my air conditioning, it's super hot where, I'm, where I am, and I've just been, and I'm just removing it. I'll try to reduce the noise through editing, but if it's just there, just let you guys know what it is. 30 minutes of the video should have let you know sooner. So he played the loot herder and burly rock dog drug. And nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, we have cousins now. So hit the loot hoarder. Oh, okay, I hit there. Hit the loot hoarder with my face. And that, that was it. So that when he if the when he kills the A Bob, it does two damage to everything. Then when he kills that, it does one damage to everything. And the burly rock truck drug lives through that. If he wants to be fancy, he could kill my 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 burly my unstable, and then the the divine shield from the neutron leaves, and then the A Bomb kills everything else with the ping. Oh, Blizzard. That's worst case scenario right there. But he could have kept his, um, thing. His... No, he couldn't have kept, kept it. He would have died anyway, so... Now Iron Bark and hope he doesn't have a sheep. Which he probably does, because it's a mage. P 
We're in a pretty bad spot. He has a humongous card advantage, and they have two dead cards now, since we're not gonna flood with a frost wolf, and we're not gonna savage roar anytime soon. So probably just frost wolf hit him in the face. He's gonna trade his 3G2 into my 687. No, he's not. So probably yeah. Uh, er oh yeah, hit Erden. Yeah, hit the. I just hit the 67 at Erden. And then played frost wolf. Oh yeah, that was no, that was really good actually. Since the the ogre doesn't kill it, and it was at eight seven, it would have been at one. And then he could, then it was earth, then he could, I could heal it, and it's at eight four, which then he could ping and burly rock jog. Now he he can't get through with this. To I don't think he can. Well, he has to ping and then hit his ogre boot anyway. So both both were fine. Nope. Yep. Yeah, nope. Both weren't fine now. Yeah, well, I did force him to use a fireball on someone on that, so at least that's there. And now I can hero power heal it, kill it. Or Starfire. Starfire is fine. Oh, I'm gonna greedy? Am I gonna be super greedy? Oh, I am gonna be super greedy and I'll use Starfire. If I Starfire, I would just have a 3 3 on the board. Which isn't the worst idea, because it does kill with everything, and if he floods now, that would be nice. Saving it is an okay idea. It's kind of greedy. Since I did take seven, 5 damage to the face. Okay, I traded the blood fence with my earthen, and then a 10 drop. No, 4. And what else? Oh, Yeti, yeah, this is not good. Those are two... Bulky minions, which I can't really deal with, so let me take a sip of water to see what I can do. Oh, and it's a scenarius. I don't see any way of me winning this, to be honest. But at least if he, if he hits his 5 4 by 2 2 and his 4 5 by 2 2, I can hero power the 4 5 and with star, Starfire, Starfall, and that kills everything. Stuck steel time. God I hate slug hunters. Oh yeah, so scenarios into the three five, starfall, and then hero power. I wish I could do everything, but I can't. Oh what 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 why? Why did I do that? Oh that was such a weird play. I could have killed everything on this board. I guess I really wanted that one one for some for some reason. This does leave me with the most power on the board, but it gives him time to like shields yeah. So shields up and then face. Oh, that's a huge mistake actually. You should be trading. <clears throat> Well, I guess he's just going face. Hopefully, it may, he might have a lot of reach. But now I can kill everything on his board. And Road of the Claw also saves me. I shall so, kill, kill. Kill the 3-5. Road of the Claw, health, and then... Because my hero power counters his hero power. He can't pick me down since I have armor. And I don't hit anything on the board and hit him in the face. And he can't pick me down anyway. But I'm still in fireball range, pyroblast range, and... Frostbolt range. Also, really lucky arcane missiles if it hits me twice. And this bug, look at the water keep flowing. What's that's weird? Stampede Kodo kills nothing. That's good. He's gonna ping me in the face. I get, do I have lethal next turn? F f two. That's that's six. Six and three. I think I do have. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do I? Yeah, no, definitely no. I do it now. I do have math is a thing in Hearthstone. No, I have definitely have Ethan. What? What? Oh, I thought I, gave, I summoned the part Panther. Oh, I did summon a Panther. Why would I summon a Panther? Oh, I guess I had Ethan away. Okay. Huh, <sighs> God. That was just a bounce BM on my part. So yay, we what? We rushed down a mage. I guess that's how you win with this deck. You just you try to rush them down. But then then finish them off with a savage roar. But I do also can can keep it. Can keep like. The can can keep control of the board. So I do have a swipe and starfalls for wave clear for board clear. 
so this is the second part of my 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 other video but I just kept it all in so it's not the longest part anyway so I'm just gonna keep it all in thrall so we're four and two if I'm not mistaken if I read that correctly geez I already forgot so we'll just er toss earth in toss mark of nature why would I kill no I would have killed the power of the wilds for the panther I guess I was looking for the pine size but I didn't get and that this is a horrible hand horrible terrible Oh yeah, it literally got a two drop. That's nice, but it's still a terrible, terrible hand. As he takes forever to th decide whether to coin something out. Like if I kept the power of the wild, I would have caught in the end dies anyway, and I would uh, have the Viet teacher. I don't know. I go. I would have kept it for a turn two play. Oh, that's that. Wow, the top decks are real though. The top decks are real. Cause now I can draw the flame on that next turn. <clears throat> so yeah, that worked out. It's still a greedy play. I should have kept the power of the wild just in case I did not draw this efficiently. Power mate, coin power mate, it's okay, so it probably has a mech deck, or at least some form of mechs. Or actually, even power mate is just fine, even without mechs, because it's, it's still a 3 2 weapon, and it trades with I think every 2 and every 1 drop, and some 3 drops, so that's actually a really nice weapon. It still does have only 2 charges, so compared to like the the, the axe, the sword first axe, it's not, it doesn't have. Oh, he's gonna crack at that. That's not a. That's a terrible idea. Oh, and we actually lo got lost in the roll. But why would you do that? That's such a bad, bad play. Because now I can vile teacher. I can't even kill the vile teacher. No, such a. Why? What? The crackling. You don't want to crackle a, a three drop. You want to crackle a huge minion. Usually. Because crackle is such a good spell. And now he's overloaded. And he probably can't. And he can't play another with three drop. To play, so probably just totem. Yeah, I'm for a totem, and yeah, he lost all the momentum from that. Oh, I'm sorry if I keep yawning, I'm sorry about that. I don't know why, I'm not even tired or anything. So, do I nourish? No, I don't think I want to nourish. I probably just lost Tall Strider. Or I could unstable ghoul and hit him and hero power, but that's greedy. So lost Tall Strider is fine. His 1-1, one, one, unfortunate as it is, if he got it, the the words are hard as a fortunate as it is if he didn't get the one one would have kept the wild teacher if he got like a healing totem and rat uh uh spell power totem that would be better but we suck oh my god it's just his turn five play just the totem wow his deck was really super clogged so now kill the taunt you have to kill the i mean the totem we pretty much always kill the totems even now now when there's the, like the car like the thunder buff valiant that's when you totem it's it gives the totem plus two attack. That's such a, an OP card, a really good card, and you just need to kill totems. Like, bef is that's what you're gonna do all day long, just totem? Oh, and okay, finally he played something. Your magic shall not save you. So hit, no hit the four four the four three, and then five four to the two oh two. Roll the claw. I could brew it back. I could brew the 4 4 back. And. But. No. Yeah, just trade. Just don't trade in hero power. Fish. He's holding back, so he might have a humongous late game. Dick. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cards. No, seven. Oh my god, Matt is counting. Yeah, eight cards. I was right, I was right, he has eight cards. And he's just gonna totem, hero power, I mean, hero power, and then flesh eating ghoul, and what? There's a spell there. Hey, whirling blades. Okay. I guess. It doesn't kill my 5 4 anyway, so. Well, I have, a, I have a humongous card advantage too, since I've been I've been holding back. Why would I do that? I guess I really want to keep want to say. Oh yeah, that's why then. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Okay, that, that was fine play. That was that was fine. Yep.
Now I have another now another four four to, to, to for him to deal with. Because for some reason I don't think I can deal with this lost host rider. Yep, there it is. <clears throat> the big minion. Anoyatron, that's such a good draw. Anoyatron. Uh the five five, yep, the four four. Four four. Po put down the four four. Yep, and that. And next turn I has Lethal with Savage Roar. Yeah, I don't think this guy was very good. Well, he did get to four wins, so... Maybe he just drew incorrectly, we don't know. Because the Anoyton would let basically counters his horse tank. If he has a silence, he might go through, is it? Ugh, Alarmabot. Alarmabot and Sun for Sunwalker, that's not good. I hate Sunwalker, it's such an annoying card. Wait, wait, we win anyway. I apologize, I was lagging again for some reason. So just so just swipe swipe his face and 5 4 to 4 5 then Savage Roar. So, yeah, what? Swipe his face. That's. Yep, and he's dead. Okay, GG. I guess advanced BF by killing him in my face. So yeah, we're five and three, guys. Not it's oh five and two, not five and three. So yeah, that's fine. He just basically left too much, and I got board control, and then I just rushed him down. And that's an orange one. It's a really good draw. So let's see the next game. Okay, so will we face the paladin? Oh no, uh, rogue. Hmm. That's an interesting. Rogue is really good again. In the TGT, Rogue is also good. Like, it's in TGT, Paladin is still the strongest, but like, Mage and Rogue are probably the second strongest because they have removal. Like, Rogue has really cheap removal, like Eviscerate, Backstab, Sap, that was also good. And Assassinate is also really strong. And with Rogue, if you just give her one favorable trade or one really good spell, like a, a Backstab that can kill a minion outright and then she gets board control it's really hard to regain board control from a from a rogue because she can just run with you and her hero power plus the like deadly poison helps her rush, rush you down helps to give her favorite trade. traits really good yeah see here i got the lost per the rogue drug drug and it's also really good for uh, rogue since he, if he backstabs it then he d takes um, three damage to the face it sucks i couldn't play the pine size but i just rather play on curve He's not counters as coin play if he wants to coin something. Yeah, deadly poison. And then he has to he's gonna take three damage to the face. What's what's his other card? Coin. A three drop. Oh acolyte. Let the pain speak to me. Oh yeah, I can claw. Hero power. Pine size. No, I can't do everything, but sucks. Claw, hero power. And that kills it, and then go face. Again, like I said with Paladin, I don't like Acolyte of Pain on, on Rogues. I only really like Acolyte of Pain on like a mage, because she can ping it. And she will definitely at least draw two cards at the least. It's also good versus Paladin, because like if you it, it, the one ones, he, if, if an Acolyte of Pain is a 1-1, one -one, that's basically a free card when he heroes powers. I don't know, just such a weak card. Oh shit, that's not good. A 4-7 Twilight Drake. Oh, I can kill it. Right, plus 4 attack. No, I can't kill it. So I'm just gonna taunt it up. I can kill it with my hero power plus the the, gold, the harvest golem. So I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, take my 2-7, bitch. Although you can kill it even your cause face plus your Twilight Drake. If he has a sap, he wins. It's Kodo. Oh, Kodo, 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 Kodo. Yes, Kodo. It's still not good. My card is so clunky. I have a Nourish and Savage Roar in my hand and Youthful Brew. Thankfully, uh, that's a good draw. Because I just sold out for next turn. And if I keep going face, I might be able to rush him down to Savage Roar. I, I doubt I win this though. He has such a humongous card advantage and board control. And Anoitron is an asshole. 
Such an asshole as card and Scarlet. Yeah, this is basically what losing looks like, you guys. He got he got favorable trades. I didn't get I I got too too clunky of a hand. I couldn't roll with it. I needed my twos and ones and uh, my twos and threes. I don't I don't think uh, this is what losing looks like. My I need to draw swipe baby or starfall, but I don't see that happening. This is basically what. Her, Rev, Rex Novus's game. Yeah. Trade there, kill that, and Booty Bay. Oh yeah, in TGT we got a uh, Evil Heckler, which is basically a Booty Bay, but cost one mana less. So Booty Bay sucks even more now. I'm, I'm gonna nourish to look for the the swipe or youthful brew or Vile Teacher and Hero Power. I could hit it. Cause they're then three, both my three, my three attack minions kill it. But I don't like hitting preemptively, cause then he could like buff it or heal it or something. But here's a humongous. Oh no, hungry dragon! Give me something good. Oh, that's not good. I want two. Would have been better. Screw you, rogue. Eviscerate. Oh, backstab. Backstab. Hit. Hit. Oh yeah, yeah, this is losing. Oh, and a Mac Warper as well, you know, why not? Yep, this is losing. Swipe doesn't even save me now. So, oh, Starfall does. Nope, that does it. Nourish, throw cards. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Anoitron, and Mac Machine. Anoitron, Mac Machine, and that's it. But now he just hear his he hits the annoyer on his face to the two three or two two to the annoyer on his go face. Oh sprint! Yeah, this is GG GG. Yeah, see that's what I wanted to do with this deck. I would like t p like remove all my cards and nourish and be like a roguish deck. But you know, sucks to suck. One I cheat. Starfall doesn't save me. A bomb does, kind of does. Starfall, and then A bomb kills everything else. No, it doesn't. We still lose though. Chef? Oh, yep. He has 10, he needs 6 damage. If he has Tinker Oil, he wins. Assassin's Blade, Tinker Oil. Yeah, we played, it's over. So, yeah, sucks to be me, but that was a 4 3 or 5 3. I think this was 4 3. Up five three, not bad, not the greatest. Two wins away from seven wins, but yeah, that was it. Now I look forward to some more Heart uh, Hearthstone Arena, where I play some TGT, and I'll look look forward to that. I have I wait, I did get six, I did I did get at least a hundred and ten gold, so not the worst. And here's my pack. Let's see what's in it. And nothing much. Oh, Buster, that's good. So yeah, I will see you in the next Hearth Arena, I mean Heart Let's Learn Hearthstone with just with TGT. I'll see you then guys. Bye!